Hey guys, I'm Billy. I'm a professional kimono teacher living in Komoto, Japan. And today I want to show you how to fold the kimono, so stay tuned. First, lay the kimono in front of you. Always remember the bottom to your right, the color to your left. To always fold along the seams. The first seam is starting next to the sleeve and going down to the bottom. This is called wakisen. So fold along the wakisen. The next seam is the so called Okumisen. You can find it in the middle of the fabric in front of you. Fold along the okumisen towards you and also fold the color towards you. The edge on the top is called tsumashita and there is also a tsumashita on the other side. Take the other side and lay it on the tsumashita in front of you. And again tsumashita and tsumashita on the other side. And just take it and put it together. and also put the color together. What I'm doing here is super tricky, so I'm gonna zoom in. In the middle of the color, you will find a fold, this fold. And just fold this inside. By doing this, the katayama will be a perfect straight line on the top. The next seam is the wakisen on the other side, maybe 2 cm from the edge of the kimono. Take the seam and lay it on the wakisen in front of you. So here you can see the wakisen again. As it's a seam, it's so easy to take. So just take it and lay it in front of you. By doing this, the edge is the center back seam, also called senoi. So be careful that all seams are edges or folds. Put the sleeves together. And make sure that the katayama leads diagonally into the senoi. Put one sleeve on top. Fold the kimono into half. Turn it and put the other sleeve on top. And that's it. Asukarisama deshita. If you like this video, leave me a thumb up or a comment and find me on Instagram. 
I want to have a good way to say goodbye. Like something like everyone sees the video and says, oh, she's so cool, I want to see her next video, kind of. Sayonara is a bit weird. If you have any ideas, leave me a comment. <laughs> okay, see you. Bye.